Hello, children. It's time for me again to recommend a book for this week. Uh, I have two books for you. Number one is Tiddler by uh, Julia Donaldson. Uh, in this book, you will find out on uh, the, the story why Tiddler is late for school every day. And every day, he has another tall tale for his teacher. This is for all children who have a very big imagination. Secondly is Pants by Giles Andre. It's a book about pants that consists of vibrant illustrations and short rhythmic praises. This lighthearted book is great to read with the you in early years. Hope you enjoy it. Hello, children of year one. I would love to recommend to you again two books for this week. Uh, number one is Worms by Will Mabbitt. This book is about worms. You might think worms are boring, but you'd be wrong because these worms have incredible adventures, so you'll have to imagine them. Second one is The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Some of you know about this one. This is uh, The Brilliant Innovative by Eric Carle. It has dramatized the story of one of the nature's loveliest creatures from caterpillar to butterfly. Hope you love it. Hello, Year 2. Another book's recommendation for you this week. Mog Time by Judith Kerr. Mog is a charming and perfectly ordinary, flawed, but lovable cat who occasionally stumbles into a remarkable situation. Recommended for you who loves cat. And uh, not only that, we have Claire Bean, That's Me by Lauren Child. This book is about Clarice Bean. It's a very funny book, and all the pages have uh, pictures of her. In her chaotic Bean household, Clarice was the engaging and original heroine. For all the year three out there, you have at least two books that I would love to recommend for you this week. Number one, uh, The Most Love Dogman by Dav Filkey. I know some of you know about this. Dogman is a unique hero uh, dedicated to stopping evildoers. And the chapter one of this book is the origin of the story. So you might uh, as well love this one. And secondly, The Invisible Boy by Truji Ludwig. This is a sweet-hearted boy who feels invisible. So the question is, how does a quiet boy more apt to communicate with drawings and art stand out with his friends how can he find friends and not get lost in the hustle and bustle and noise of his school? So you better read this one. Hello, children of Year 4. Uh, I would love to recommend two books for you this week. The first one, My Brother is a Superhero by David Solomons. This is a super exciting, laugh out, loud, funny, and with enough heart to fill an entire galaxy. I'm, I'm, I'm very sure that you're going to enjoy this. The second one is The 13th Story Treehouse by Andy Griffiths and Terry Denton. Who wouldn't want to live in a treehouse? All of us, especially you boys, uh, you want to live in a treehouse. You're going to enjoy this, especially a 13th Story Treehouse that has a bowling alley a citrus swimming pool, and a tank full of sharks. You better read this one and you are going to enjoy it. For the year five kids, I would love to recommend to you two books for this week. The first one is Charlotte's Web by E.B. White. This book is a tender novel of friendship, especially to those of you who love animals about love, life, and death that will continue to be enjoyed by generation to come. Not also, not only for the loving animals, but also for loving the family. Uh, the second one is The Iron Man by Ted Yu. In this book, you will find how Iron Man finds a way to save the world against the terrible monster from outer space. It's kind of a bit uh, different from the Iron Man movie, but this one, you are going to love this. Two books that are highly recommended to you for this week, year six. Number one is Cog Heart by Peter Bunce. You will be lucky to discover another great middle grade series. This book is amazing. It's everything you want from an adventure book. A fast paced, full of mystery and with a sassy, adorable little girl protagonist. The other one is The Railway Children. 
This will break your heart while reading this by Ines Beat. This is a really feel-good story that will fill you to the brim with hopes. They teach you great lessons through simple actions and easy sentences that you will love. Hope you enjoy it.